Hello everyone, welcome back to Math Mode. Here we have interesting algebra question. We need to simplify the square root of square root of 16 minus square root of 12. How can we do this? First of all, we know that this square root of 16 we can write, we can calculate this, it will be 4, and this 12 we can write as, as 2 times 6, 4 times 3, or 1 times 12. The best way to express this 12 is to write this 12 as 4 times 3. I'll show it a little bit later why. Okay. We calculate this 16, it will be 4 minus square root of, we use this substitution, 4 times 3. Okay, we can calculate this, because we know that this square root we can write as square root of 4 minus this square root we can write as square root of 4 times square root of 3. Okay, we know that this square root is equal to 2, so we as a result, we will have, interesting case, 4 minus 2 square root of 3. What are we going to do next? I want to suggest you a little bit trick right here, because I want to write this 4 as 3 plus 1. So let's do this. We will have square root of 3 minus 2 square root of 3 and plus 1. Of course, nothing changed. Just, just write this 4 as 3 plus 1. So this 4 I write as 3 plus 1. Okay, what are we going to do next? We know the formula a minus b square. It will be equal to a square minus 2ab and plus b square. What are we going to do next? Let's write this under this formula. So we will have 3 minus 2 square root of 3 and plus 1. Okay, as you can see right here, we have 2 and 2 right here, similar. We have a, b right here, but this square root of 3 we can write as a. So, let this square root of 3 will be our a. How can we get this b? We have 1 and we have, we have 3 right here. So, nothing change if we multiply this by square root of 1. So, we will have 3 minus 2 square root of 3 times square root of 1 and plus 1. Okay. This will be our a, square root of 3 will be our a, square root of 1 will be our b, and take a look right here, we have square root of 3 and square root of 1, but this is not equal to square root of 3 and square root of 1, and moreover we need to write a square and b square, but right here we have square root of 3 plus 1. What are we going to do in our case? Let's write this square root of 3 as square root of 3, let's write this 3 as square root of 3, square. Nothing change. And let's write this one as square root of 1 square. Okay, of course nothing change, but take a look. We have our formula. We have our formula a square minus 2ab and plus b square. But in our case we have square root of 3 square. It will be our 3. Nothing change, just a little bit closer to our formula. Minus 2 times our a square root of 3 and our b square root of 1 and plus square root of 1 square. Of course nothing change. This will be 3, this will be 1 and this will be 1. We multiply, we have the same as right here. But it will be our formula a minus b square. So as a result we will have a minus b square a will be our square root of 3 minus b, minus, I write this, not square root of 1, ok, I write this square root of 1, and as a result we will have square root of 3 minus 1 to the second power. Ok, we have this, so this under this square root equal to this. So let's write the final answer. So we will have square root of square root of 3 minus 1 to the second power. All know that, all people know that if we have, for example, square root of a square, it will be equal to absolute value of a. So as a result, this square root and this square root sign we can cancel as, and as a result we can write it as absolute value of square root of 3 minus 1 square root of 3 minus 1. What are we going to do next? Of course, square root of 3 
is greater than 1, so we need to put plus before our absolute value, so with the result we will have our final result will be square root of 3 minus 1. I hope you understand this explanation, this nothing hard, just a little bit trick right here, we write this 4 as 3 plus 1, and the next step we need to create a formula, just step by step we create it. Of course, we cannot create this formula always, like this is this is our case and we can create this formula, but if we will have, for example, square root of 15, we cannot use this method to create a formula right here, it will be another method, of course. So, write a question, write a suggestion, if you have any, any suggestion to this method. Thank you so much for watching, subscribing, putting thumbs up, I really appreciate it, and see you in the next videos.